Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're a little more casual today, a little vlog style. Also, I know what you're thinking, Catherine, you tried so hard for this video, like you really made yourself up, you look, you know, dressed to the nines. I understand, all right, you're welcome. Anyway, we today are going to Target to buy some activewear, which I'm really pumped about. I asked you guys what I should do an activewear review on next, thinking that it would be like, I don't know, a bigger brand or something, like an Instagram kind of brand, or like, you know, online stores. But a lot of you guys said like Target, TJ Maxx, Walmart kind of thing. So I was like, let's go to Target. Like, I like Target, it's right down the street. I'm gonna spend too much money but it's gonna be a good time. I also used to specifically only wear Target sports bras, the champion ones. They're like, they're really good sports bras, especially for like bigger chests. They have a lot of support. So maybe we'll get some new ones cause that'd be kind of fun. And give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to do a series on this, like kind of like affordable, like actual in-store activewear you can get, like TJ Maxx, Walmart, I'll go everywhere, I'll go anywhere. Okay, so now that I've semi got ready, let's go to Target. Okay, so we made it to Target. The parking lot doesn't look too crowded. I'm hoping that like not many people are here at like 5 p.m. like after work on a Friday kind of thing. I would go here on a Friday night, but I don't know if that's the vibe for other people. All right, so let's go in, see what we can find. I'm not gonna try anything on because I'll just try it on at home. I think they have a good return policy. Um, children's activewear. Found the champion sports bras. They also look really cute and like I think they're pretty supportive. Obviously this wouldn't be supportive, but that's like it looks like little lemon. Guys, these have a seamless waistband. I thought that all Target leggings were like, actually these have a seam, but these don't have a seam. No seams. The goods have been secured. Okay, so I just bought everything and I had to add up the prices because I bought a few other things. Okay, um, calculated everything up and I just spent $204 on nine items. That's like not as affordable as I thought. Like that's like a little over $20 an item, which I guess that that's like pretty good. One of the pairs of leggings was $40. Like that is not affordable. Like that's like almost Gymshark prices. $40 like is more than I'm looking to spend on a pair of leggings at Target. Kind of curious to see which ones those were. I wasn't really checking the prices as I was adding things to my cart, you know, cause like just throwing caution to the wind, buying whatever as graduate students living on loans do. Relatable content, right? But also I was like, oh my gosh, how much did I buy? Because they printed out this receipt. Uh, it never ends, it never ends. I was like, oh my God, like how much did I buy? But it turns out it printed just like a lot of empty space. That's, yeah, this is all, it's all empty space. Okay, time for me to go inside. So now I am back with my extra long receipt. Literally, it's still going, it's still going. And I'm definitely excited about the sports bras because I have loved a lot of their sports bras in the past. I really wanted to try this cute, like little strappy one they had, but it was only in like extra large, in, in like large, I think. And I'm more of like a small. That is one thing about Target. You can try stuff on, so that's convenient, but they might not have like all the sizes because it is just like store specific. So let's say everyone in your, in your area wants a purple small sports bra, you might not get it. All right, let's just start trying it. Okay, first I wanted to try these leggings because I was kind of shook to find a pair of seamless waistband leggings at Target. So these are the training 7 8 leggings. I truly know nothing about any of these champion leggings, so we're just gonna figure out all the details we can. So this one is for training and it is made of that slick performance material. Some of their leggings were definitely geared towards lounge and were kind of like that cottony feel and I didn't really get those because like it's kind of like an activewear channel. It says it has sculpting compression, so we'll see how much compression it has. 7 8 length, which isn't my fave, but that's okay. These were $34.99. 
So kind of expensive, like your girl can get a nice pair of colorful koalas for like 22 on Amazon. They seem very high waisted. The only thing is that this front region looks kind of short. So I'm a little worried that this little seam is gonna cut me right off in the back. All right, the lighting is all sorts of wrong. They have a little logo on the back, kind of a pseudo Lululemon logo that like everyone puts on their activewear. Side pockets. Yeah, so they have these little mesh holes in the pockets. As you can see, it is that slick performance material and it also has more little mesh holes at the bottom of the leg. So these are a solid pass. Target, what even is this? First of all, as you can see, I don't understand why the waistband seam is all the way down here. Like it's so low, like this is so much like waistband region. Usually it's like more high and then a little bit on top. I don't know what this is, I don't like it. The waistband is just like totally loose in the back. It really has no structure at all up here. Yeah, and it totally cuts off your butt like right in the middle. So we all know, I hate that. That's like one of my least favorite things. They do have pockets and I do like the little mesh dot detail and they are they are seven eighths length. They're pretty long for a seven eighths. They do that thing where it's not quite tight on my ankle though. Like as you can tell, there's a little bit of room. And I just feel like that's kind of compressing the wrong places. Like, it's not compressing my waist at all. It's squishing my butt down quite a bit. It is compressing my thighs. I don't know, I'd give a pass on these leggings. Next, I wanted to try this pair of more like casual lounge looking leggings. These look like that kind of herringbone print that I've seen on a lot of Lululemon leggings. And there was a girl in college who wore these once and I asked her if they were Lulus and she was like, no, they're Target. Like she was embarrassed. I was like, girl, own that. Like I would be proud if someone asked me if my leggings were Lululemon and they were from Target. Oh. These were $40 though. I did not think that these were gonna be the $40 leggings. Compared to Lululemon, it's not that expensive, but this is almost Gymshark price. They definitely do feel like a more lounge type legging. Like I don't know if I'd work out in these. They feel just kind of like a warm, nice fall, like sweater legging almost. Super high-waisted, little side pockets and everything. So let's try it on. These leggings are a different story. So these are the $40 ones. So in terms of $40 leggings, I don't know if I love them, but they're actually, they're actually pretty good. They're really soft and comfortable. I'd say they're probably about a light compression, like they're really not compressing me too much. The top band isn't cutting into me at all. They're not giving me great shape or anything. Okay, so maybe I don't like them that much, but they're better than the other ones. Still have a little side pocket. They just feel like a nice pair of casual leggings. I don't think these are gym leggings just because they are so soft and like sweater-like. They are much more flattering on the butt. They have a little round booty seam and it's not going into my butt too much. So it's not like totally cutting it off like the last one. They're a full length on me, maybe even with a little extra space, which is kind of surprising because I'm pretty tall. I think I would recommend these for a lounge legging, but for the price, I'm not so sure because they are $40 leggings from Target. Then I wanted to try some sports bras. I used to literally only wear Champion sports bras and specifically they had these ones that came in like size small, medium, large, but they had clasps in the back. And I don't know, they were just really supportive and really good. And these look very similar to what, why is my voice crack? I'm not a 12 year old boy. These look very similar to those ones that I used to have. See, this is the kind of padding I love in a sports bra. It's like built in molded cut padding not removable cut pads, all right? Like I've had to get used to removable cut pads, so they're not that bad because literally everything has removable cut pads, but it's just so nice to not have to worry about seeing the cut pad outline, you know? So yeah, this has that. So it adds a little bit of extra support and hides the nips. And then they have adjustable straps in the back and a clasp. So these still do come in size small, medium, large. I used to be a medium in these, but I've lost a little bit of weight. So I got a medium in this color and then a small in this color. Okay, by the way, these are called the Power Shape Bras. They have like duo dry, wicks moisture, adjustable straps. It's supposed to be breathable. And they're $22.99. So $22.99 for like a supportive sports bra, I would say is pretty affordable. Okay, so here's a sports bra. This one's in a size medium. I think I do like the medium. The only thing is I did have to have it on the tightest thing, but it was kind of, it was kind of a little tricky to put on just because you have to like get through these like little crisscross straps and then pull it down and then pull your boots up. It was just kind of an ordeal. But I do like that the cut pads are like in the bra, 
so it just feels like a little more supportive and you don't have those little like cup pads that like crinkle up and everything it is giving like a nice shape to my boobs it has this little cute side detail which is nice and the adjustable straps which is they were just a nice touch actually this is a pretty good support it's for not being like a perfect size on me yeah, I'd say it's like a medium, medium to high support. We're really not having much jiggling here. For like the $20 range, I really like the sports bra, I think. I would definitely get it again. I also just wanted to quickly try on the small, and I think this one might be a little more supportive for me. I'd say if you're in between sizes, size up, but I would get your normal size. Um, I just think this one fits me pretty well. It was a little harder to get on, but now that it's on, it feels like very secure and it's on the loosest one, which means as the bra stretches out, I can make it tighter. So I think I do like the size small. So the top options were kind of scarce. They had these little like graphic tanks that said like weird little like, I don't know, motivational quotes on them. And I was like, I'm just not a motivational quote wearing gal. Like I just, it's never been my vibe. So yeah, not didn't find a ton in the range of tops. I used to have a really good tank top from them that had like a built-in bra into it, but I no longer have that or I don't know, I don't really wear much anymore. But I did find this little breathable t-shirt. This I believe we got in a size small. It came in a bunch of colors and it's made of a super lightweight material. It's not quite that shiny slick material. It has a little bit of extra softness to it and it just feels like really thin and really nice. And this top was only $12.99. That, that is a deal. Yeah, it feels really lightweight. I do have this in a size small, so it is a looser fitting top. So I think in your normal size, you will still have a relaxed fit. So if you want something a little bit tighter, I would size down. Yeah, it's just like a classic t-shirt, except a slightly more scooped shape and definitely really lightweight. It has this little line on the back too for a little pizzazz. Yeah, I'm not sure if it would show sweat or not. I would assume it might show a little bit, but not a ton. It does definitely feel like a t-shirt you'd wanna work out in because it's very breathable and lightweight and it's not gonna make you feel, I don't know, just like swe unnecessarily sweaty. Then I got this little set because I kind of thought this looked like a fake leather situation. I really wanted to get the black pairs of these leggings, but they only had size like medium and large, and I just know that I wear a small, so the medium large wasn't gonna work for me. I thought the black pair would be really cute because they look kind of like fake leather leggings, which is kind of a style, especially for fall. So if these turn out to be good, I recommend you go get the black ones because those were cute. These do have a top seam, but it doesn't seem like super bulky. It has one of those little pockets in the waistband. These kind of remind me of like older style, like Lululemon Wonder Unders. No side pockets on these or anything. But yeah, it just kind of has that like iridescent sheen. It is kind of a slicker feel, just kind of what you'd think that this feels like, except it still does have a decent amount of stretch. A little less stretch than the other ones, but yeah. They say this is a soft, breathable fabric, and it's also only $27.99. So here are those kind of shiny leggings. And I think these might be my favorite leggings. There's still some issues I have with them, but I think that they're just like kind of fun that they're like have this little like fake leather kind of look. So they do have a top seam at the waistband. The waistband isn't fitting me perfectly. I do have a little bit of space. So their sizing is a little weird because I do have a little bit of space, but then I don't think I could have sized down for the legs. I don't feel too restricted in the legs, but I think if I sized down that I would. Their gusset crotch also kind of like comes up onto the front side, which like you can kind of see it. I don't know, I don't. I can't tell if it looks weird on camera. It looks a little weird in the mirror when I'm looking at it. And then the seam, the seam basically goes over my butt. I'd like it to be like just a teeny bit higher, but it's not totally cutting off my butt like the first one, so that is better. There's a little bit of gathering, just like kind of down the legs, and they are full length on me. I haven't really talked about cellulite, but I think these would probably be cellulite friendly. They just have a little bit of texture to them. They're a little bit thicker and they just like have that structure. I give these a solid medium compression, except for the waist isn't compressing me too much. A nice thing about this like longer waistband though that does go lower is you do get a little bit of extra tummy control. Waistbands that are really just at the top don't offer a lot of lower tummy control. It's not doing anything crazy for my butt. So honestly, just like medium booty scale. Nothing special. They're like a little, they're not the softest leggings in the world. Like on the inside, they, like the fabric's like a little bit rough. I don't know, like I wish it was a little bit softer, maybe brushed on the interior. But I think that I honestly would really like these in a black color for like kind of a more dressed up casual legging. 
And then this also came with this matching sports bra that I thought was really cute because it's like high neck. This has a little bit less of that iridescence to it. It was in the same like region they were selling it, so I figured it would match. But it kind of has a similar background to some Gymshark sports bras. Yeah, like the Fleur sports bra and then also the Flawless Knit, I think, has this very similar back and it just has this little mesh detail and a little V racer back. So I don't know, I thought the sports bra was really cute. I like a nice little high neck sports bra. There's also a little mesh on the side of that. And the sports bra was $19.99, so that's pretty good. I think under 20 for a sports bra is honestly pretty good. These do unfortunately have removable cut pads, but we'll forgive it because it's cute. And here's the sports bra. If I step back, you can tell it definitely doesn't like totally match these leggings because it doesn't have that same little fake leather kind of shine. But I think it's like a really cute sports bra. I like the little high neck. We're not getting any side boob. We also have this little mesh detail at the side, which is cute. There is like a little line you can see here, but you can't really see the cut pad, so that's good. I'd give this a solid light to medium support. High neck sports bras tend not to have a lot of support for larger chests. I don't know what it is, but they just tend to not be the most supportive. The back is really cute. I love this little mesh detail and the little like strap detail. And then I thought it would be fun to get these shorts that kind of look like those Nike shorts that like everyone wears. I don't know, mostly teenagers, but lots of people wear them. So here they are. I got a size small. They do look pretty short in terms of shorts. I guess we'll see. I'm not a huge fan of shorts, especially if they're not high-waisted. I don't know, but they have an elastic waistband plus a little drawstring to make it a little tighter. They also have like the underwear lining. Still, it helps or else like you can kind of flash people. The Nike ones, I don't really know how much the Nike ones are, but these are only $16.99, so that's pretty good. And these are kind of like a classic little, like, I don't know, breathable running short. Is that what people wear these for? I don't run, so I wouldn't know. Okay, here are the shorts. So as you can see, this is why I don't like them. They just like, I don't know, they don't come up at a good point on my waist, but they are about probably like a four inch inseam. They are covering most of my thighs. They're not too tight on my thighs either. They have a little bit of that ballooniness and then they have this little thing. So I think if you like this style of short, like if you like those little like Nike style, like really slick, I don't know, windbreakery shorts, I think this is a good dupe for that. But for me, it's just a very low rise. It's just like not my preferred style of activewear, but there's nothing wrong with it if you do like the style of activewear. I think that it's perfectly fine. It just doesn't come up very high on the waist. You might be able to get a bigger size, but then you'd get a little more gathering around here. And lastly, I got this for myself to keep actually, because I have this bra in gray and I wear it like every night to bed. And before anyone comes at me, be like, you're not supposed to sleep in a bra. First of all, I've never seen any research that tells me to not sleep in a bra. Second of all, if you have big boobs, they kind of like go anywhere when you sleep. And I kind of want them to stay in their lanes, you know, and not like go to the side and a light, nice light support, I don't know, smooth sports bra. It just feels nice. It's not like actually constricting you or like being too tight, but it's just really nice to sleep in. So I would definitely consider this like a light support sports bra. I do already have it in one color, but I just thought this was a cute little blue color. It is a seamless sports bra, as you can tell, and it's only $16.99. Guys, the sports bra is so soft. It really doesn't provide any sort of support. Definitely light support, but because I just use them for like sleep bras, they're so comfy. They're seamless, they like nothing digs into you. They're just like a classic sports bra. If you like really, really soft sports bras, first of all, this is really soft to the touch. It does pill over time, I have found, just a warning, but I don't care because I just sleep in them. So comfy, I just, there's not much to say about this one. But I love it. Okay, so that is it for this Target activewear review. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below where I should shop next. I'm kind of thinking TJ Maxx, but maybe Walmart will win, I don't know. Overall, I wasn't really impressed with the Champion leggings. They just like, they don't have a lot of structure in the right places. They weren't really compressing the tummy area. The leggings were okay, but they were, and they were also just a little bit expensive, so you can find better leggings on Amazon. The sports bras though, I think I liked all of the sports bras. Really 
liked the one with the structure and the clasp if you have like a medium to large chest. They also have sports bras that come in actual cup sizes that I didn't show in this video because I didn't see any at the store where I went, but I know that they've had them before. And they also just have really good like soft cup sports bras. Their sports bras, they're great. Didn't see a lot for tops either other than the top I got and the shorts. They weren't my favorite, but they were a good like Nike like running short dupe. If you did like this video, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.